Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Merge K Sorted List. In this question, we are given an array of K linked list. Each linked list is sorted in ascending order. We need to merge all the linked lists into one sorted linked list and return it. In the first example, we can see that we are given three linked list. Each one is sorted in ascending order and then we output one single linked list with all the values. The rest two examples are of empty linked list. So by seeing the list and the response, we know that we need to sort all these lists. So the brute force approach will be to add all these value into a list, then sort it using the inbuilt sort method and then iterate over this sorted list and create a linked list out of it. The code of which will look like this. We will have a dummy node head taking it in temporary variable, having a list, adding all the values in all the list into this list, sorting that list. Now iterating over this list and creating a new single link list and returning head dot next. This is a brute force approach and the time complexity will be n log n where n is the number of values in the list. The space complexity is O of n. Now moving on to the second approach, we will see how we can leverage the fact that each list is itself sorted. So let's see this with the help of an example. Consider these are the three lists given to us. As we see that each of these three lists are sorted in itself, we can compare the first three values of this list and pick whichever is the lowest. We will have a dummy node. So we'll put that smallest value next to this dummy node. Now from whichever list we have selected this node, we'll move the pointer to its next node. Now again we'll compare the three values and whichever value is the smallest, we'll put that node in the result list. We'll move the pointer of this third list to the next value and now we again compare the three values and we'll continue doing it till we reach the end of all the list. So let's see how we can implement this. So similar to brute force, we will be needing this null and empty check and also needing this head and temp head. We won't need this array list or looping. So we'll remove this. We need to loop till there exists even one value in any one of the list in this array. So we will have a while loop which will be infinite. We need to find the lowest value in all of the list present. So we'll have initially this pointer, which will point to the list with the minimum value. Now we need to loop on this list array. And if the node at P is equals to null, or if the list that i is not null and also the value of this node at p is greater than the value at i then we need to put the index i at p position if even after iterating over all the list we found no value that means if the list at p is still null then we are sure that there are no values present in the list so we'll break this loop otherwise the next pointer of this will become whatever node we have at p now we'll move the stamp to the next pointer and also at this p position we need to move the pointer to the next so this completes the coding let's run this so it ran successfully. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity in this case is nk where k is the size of the list and n is the number of nodes. The space complexity is O of n. Now this program still has a higher time complexity and we can further reduce it. So let's see how we can reduce it. So let's see this with the help of an example. Suppose these are the five lists given to us. 
what we can do is instead of checking all the first value of all the list we can combine two list at a time and creating a new list which is sorted we have three list left that is list 1 list 3 and list 5 because when we merge list 1 and list 2 we are reusing the space of list 1 hence we have shown list 1 as the resultant list of the two lists that we have merged and similarly for list 3 and list 4. Now we will again combine list 1 and list 3 creating list 1 and at the end we will combine list 1 and list 5 thus creating a list 1 which will hold the sorted list for all the 5 lists that were initially given to us. This approach needs us to implement the code for merging two sorted lists in O of 1 space. We have already seen this question and discussed it in one of our past videos. So we won't be discussing as to how we will merge the two sorted lists into one. We will be directly using its code. So this is the problem that we were talking about that is merge two sorted lists. If you haven't already watched this video, the link is at the top. We will use the same code that we have in this problem and we'll paste this. now. We won't be needing this head temp or this while loop for now and at the end the result will be present at the 0th index. Initially we need to merge every adjacent list into one. So initially the interval will be one. We will be doing this till the interval is less than the length of the list. For every level, we will be starting from the 0th index going all the way till the end of the list. So I will be starting from 0 till i plus interval is less than the list length. We need to jump from 1 to 3 in the first level, which means i will be incremented to i plus the interval into 2. Now this ith we will be putting the merge list we will use the method merge to list the first list will be the list at ith index and second will be i plus interval. In the first level the interval was 1 that is we are jumping from 1 to 3 in this next level we were jumping from 1 to 5 so the interval will be incremented by a factor of 2. So this completes the coding part. Let's run this code. So it got successful. Let's submit this. So it is submitted successfully. The time complexity of this approach is n log k as the number of lists are reducing by a factor of 2 at each step and the space complexity is O of 1. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.